This is Murray Riley Jr. from the Stump and Shout Talk Show, now the Sky Shout Radio Podcast. You're listening to my man, Tim Wilson of the What Up Doe Show. Keep it tuned in, everyone. It's the What Up Doe, the What Up Doe, the What Up Doe Show. It's time to recognize if you don't know. It's the What Up Doe, the What Up Doe, the What Up Doe Show. Time to recognize if you don't know. The What Up Doe Show. Your commentary on sports, entertainment, and alternative news. Oh, the what up, though, the what up, though, the what up, though, show. Yo, 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 what up, though, it's your boy T. Wilson. I am live on a Wednesday morning. It is hump day, and I am feeling crazy. Because uh, I have a meeting this morning. It's a, it's a. I work for a company that owns a whole lot of different companies, and so the the we all work under the same umbrella. Well, the big company that we all work up under is having a big meeting this morning that I I can't miss. So um, I'm doing a what up do show old school style. Now a lot of people don't know this. A little history. When I used to do the what up do show originally, I didn't have any kind of format or anything. I just kind of winged it, and then I put together a format, but I didn't prepare for it. I would just off the cuff do things. I would I would be surfing for the stories as I'm talking. Um, but I stopped doing that because it started making my show mess up. It uh, be, you know, surfing the web while I'm recording, but broadcasting started causing delays in my broadcast, and and it was really um, uh, threatening the integrity of my show. So I stopped doing that and started uh, preparing the show and putting everything together on one like sheet of paper, so to speak, one e sheet of paper, and then broadcasting from that. And that that helped me ease all the issues that I used to have, the technical issues. Well, today I don't have time to put it together, so I'm doing it old school style. So if it messes up, I'm sorry, but I have no idea what I'm going to talk about today, folks. I am just picking the stories as I find them and bringing them to you just like that. So no heads up. So I didn't know what to call it. That's why I called it old school style because it's the way I used to do it back in the day, even to an exaggerated extent. That said, let's get to some birthdays. Uh, today I got, oh, I got my friend's sister, the, the beautiful Tracy Norton. Uh, happy birthday, Tracy. And I also got uh, the girl that calls me that uncle. So I will call her that niece. Uh, sequel, Lady Day Henderson. Uh, big up to um, Antonio Broadnax, my boy Tony. What up, though? That's uh, the homie from the hood. And last but not least, the beautiful Alotis Goodson. Happy birthday to all of y'all. Mm-hmm. And uh, on that note, let's go ahead, man, and get this party started. What up, Joe Sports? And what up, Joe Sports? Report has come out that 11 of the 12 footballs that the Patriots used during their blowout victory over uh, Indianapolis was underinflated. They're calling it Deflate Gate, and it looks like New England cheated again. They don't care. The league takes away what money and draft picks, but they get to go to the Super Bowl. They don't care. I'd rather have the Super Bowl too. They pile up so many draft picks. You can keep taking picks from them as long as you want. They're still going to have picks. The last time they got some picks taken away, it was for videotaping the opponent's practices. 
right? And they were using uh, unlawful methods to record their their opponents before the game and getting in a competitive edge. And they got busted. And guess what? They didn't care. They won the Super Bowl or at least went to the Super Bowl. I mean, what are we talking about? Practice? I mean, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Practice? <laughs> so they don't care. So they got their t- they got some picks taken away, but they had so many picks. Here's the punishment: they took away like five picks. Yet they had so many picks from other teams that they couldn't. They didn't take the picks that they took from other teams. They just took the picks that they, that they had for themselves. Well, they went to the Super Bowl. So the pick they took away was pick number thirty. The pick they got the that got to keep was pick number seven. <laughs> what are we talking about? Practice? So, uh, yeah, you did nothing. You did nothing. I'd give up pick thirty to keep pick seven, wouldn't you? I'd do it. So, Deflate Gate. Uh, for those that don't know exactly what it means, what happened was it was a rainy, cold, rainy day in New England. So with the ball being uh, uh, two pounds under inflated uh, for New England, they could have a better grip on it because the ball wouldn't be as slippery. It has a little bit of sponge in it so you can squeeze it a little better in the bad weather conditions. And... Uh, and they won 45-7. So it wasn't fair. They cheated, but they do that. They are not above cheating to be great. But I tell you what, if you are really looking for underinflated balls, you should probably call the 730 show. We interrupt this podcast to tell you about Latone Hart and the 730 show. Pop, pop, pop culture from the dark side. He's a jackass. 730. Yeah, Resisting arrest, eating dry ramen noodles, stalking my ex on Facebook. Yeah, I may need medicine. Blacker than chewed up tobacco. The 730 Show, available on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, and Spreaker. Yeah, Latone has inflated, deflated balls. (laughs) So Justin Bieber is going to be on Comedy Central Roast. Uh, He says it's therapy. What up, Doe Entertainment? Oh, yeah, I forgot to say that. Thank you, though. Um, He asked for it. He said it would be therapy for him to get roasted on Comedy Central. So they're going to roast Justin Bieber on Comedy Central. Uh, Somebody needs to um, roast his ass on a barbecue pit. Well, he wants to be black. You may as well cook him. Maybe if you cook him. He can actually turn black. Speaking of which. (laughs) Meanwhile. Back in the town where. But you know, it's funny. uh, Latone brought that up. So I'm going to go ahead and give him his props. On the real, man, me and Latone, we go after each other a lot. uh, Because he's a buster. Uh, But he has a great show, man. If you don't, if you've never heard the 7:30 show, check it out. The 7:30 show is uh, can be heard on Spreaker, uh, Stitcher, and iTunes. Very good show, Uh, very funny. Uh, He's a bitch, but he's got a very, very, very funny show. Right? I didn't mean to say he was a bitch. I meant to say he was a bitch. Anyway, uh, Will Smith had a crew. At his uh, last movie, Concussion, the cast and crew of Concussion, that he has a movie coming out called Concussion. Uh, at a Will Smith movie, they eat well. They had huge lobster tails, filet mignon, prime rib, chicken, sausage, pastas, and more. I want to be in a Will Smith movie. The crew eats well. Guys on the crew, those those grips were running after that damn food like shit. Get to eat like this at home. <laughs> I don't get to eat like this at home. Man, let me tell you something. 
This is crazy. Let's move on, man. This is I don't like doing a show like this now. I don't like doing a show like this. Did you know that Jay Z and, and uh Beyonce decided not to move to LA? Do you care? I don't either. I live where you want to live. You like this show like this? I don't like it like this. It's totally unformatted. It is totally whack to me. So I'm going to move on and get out of here. Ooh, baby, I like it, bro. Yeah, baby, I like it, bro. What up, Doe News? All right, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try the what up, Doe News part. And if this don't work out, I'm done, man. So far, this show is, in my opinion, absolutely retarded. But hey. I am delivered! A kangaroo crashes into... An Australian cyclist. Nope. A Florida teen posed as a doctor for a month. Yeah, <laughs> let's talk about that. <laughs> so in West Palm Beach, Florida, police in Florida said a teenager caught posing as a doctor in a hospital had been carrying out his ruse at the facility for about a month. Have you ever seen that movie called Catch Me If You Can? It stars uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. It's kind of like this is kind of like the stuff he did. He was he posed as a whole lot of different uh, uh, people or professionals and and just never got caught. It was kind of it was kind of crazy. He was a pilot. Was a doctor. Anyway, police were called to uh, St. Mary's Medical Center in West Palm Beach on a report of a juvenile falsely identifying himself as a doctor while wearing a white lab coat and carrying a stethoscope. The individual never had contact with any hospital patients and did not gain access to any patient care areas of the hospital at any time. We assure you, your mom didn't die because of it. We assure you, we did not let him kill your mother. I don't believe it for a minute. I don't believe anything they're telling me. I really don't. Okay. All right. This is starting to mess up my... Uh, I can't do my thing here, man. Why can't I do my thing here, man? Anyway. The hospital immediately notified local authorities who took the individual into custody, and we are cooperating with their ongoing investigation. So we promise you, he never got anywhere near a patient. Lying piece of sack of ish, slut trash can, scummiest dirt bag. Mm, 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 mm. In other news, uh, in New Hampshire, a city called Concord, the New Hampshire Lottery announced the release of its first ever scratch and sniff ticket. What? It was designed to give off the alluring aroma of a bacon. What? Yes, indeed. The iHeart Bacon Scratch Ticket, which sells for $1 and offers prizes of up to $1,000, was officially rolled out to stores this month. The New Hampshire Lottery is focused on developing new and fun ways to engage customers. The iHeart Bacon Scratch and, uh, scratch and Sniff Ticket provides two things people love. The chance to win money and the wonderful enticing smell of breakfast. What? I'd like to buy that one for a homeless guy. How about that? Let's give that to the guy that says I will work for food. Here, work for this. Scratch it and sniff it, you son of a biscuit eater. And uh, in Mexico. Let's see what's going on in Mexico. <laughs> I've been to Mexico. I spent I've spent six months in, in Juarez with the dangerous streets of Juarez when I was a, 
uh, first breaking into the automotive industry. But in Mexico City, a Mexican man taking a cross-country walk with a soccer ball on his head to call for peace. And the country has completed the first 1,200-mile leg of his journey. This freaking guy has walked 1,200 miles, folks, with a soccer ball on his head. Yeah, boy! Juan Marquitas, he's 60 years old. My God, what is this guy thinking? He's 60 years old and he walked across, the, he's walking across Mexico with a soccer ball on his head. 60 year old that can walk across Mexico is amazing enough. He balances a soccer ball on his head while he walks. He said he plans to head north for the second leg of his tour. Uniting Wishes for Peace organized a march on, in November from the southern state of Guerrero to Mexico City to, a, to demand answers from the government regarding the disappearances of 43 students. An accused gun-affiliated hitman is currently in custody and police suspect he killed the students and burned their bodies. My God, man, I, I'm on your side now, brother. Walk on, brother, walk on. Because uh, after hearing that, I am delivered. I get it, man. Killed them and burnt their bodies? Mexico is ruthless, man. These Mexican criminals put us to shame. It's kind of like the creepy clowns. Yeah. What up, everybody? This is your girl, Keish, host of the Relationship Handbook Live, and you're tuned in to my boy, T, on the What Up Doe Show. What up, doe? What up, doe? It's the What Up Doe Show. Um, a drunk teen was rescued from an air vent at a nightclub. <laughs> Alcohol makes people do some of the craziest things. He must have been drinking Foster's. Because Foster's is Australian for beer. And he's Australian. Man, if this would have happened where I'm from, ain't no telling where you would have found that nigga. Anyway. Authorities in Australia said an 18-year-old man who tried to sneak into a nightclub after being ejected had to be rescued from an air vent. I want to get back in there. They kicked me out. I want back. You suck, you jackass. Southport Magistrates Court heard Hugh McCannon, an Irish citizen in Australia on a one-year uh, visa, was ejected from the Sin City nightclub in Surface Paradise when he was found sleeping on one of the club's couches. He got drunk and fell asleep on a couch. Oh, he's Irish. No wonder he got so freaking drunk. They're like, we don't get that drunk in Australia, buddy. We get drunk. We get just drunk enough to fight. Irish get drunk enough to pass out on a couch. That's funny to me. Anyway, the court heard McMahon somehow got back into the club and was ejected a second time. <laughs> You can't keep a good man down. Give me another beer. Another shot of tequila. Leading him to attempt to get into the club a third time by climbing from a neighborhood, a neighboring apartment to the building's roof. This dude is tripping. He is obsessed with this place. They must have naked women in there. It is called Sin City, so they must be showing some Sin Titties. Mm -hmm. Drunk or sober. It is a remarkably stupid thing to do. You remarkably stupid little kid. That's what the magistrate uh, Rob Kilner said. This kid has got all his out of his freaking mind. What is he doing? Club goers heard McMahon calling for help from an air vent because he became wedged in it. He was bloated from all the other times he was uh, sneaking in and drinking. What a jackass. What up, it's your boy Dino Red of the Red Rock Podcast Network. You listen to my boy T. Wilson of the What Up Though Show. You better tell somebody, baby. Speaking of jackasses, 
<laughs> what up, though, Dino Red? What up, though? Okay, I got to get out of here, man. I've been doing this long enough. I really do got to go. I've wasted enough of your day. Anyway, man, I really had some other stories. I, I'm going to save them for tomorrow when I can do the show real. And uh, we're going to get this right. So I want to thank y'all for taking a moment to deal with me and my BS here. Uh, and thank you for listening. Y'all have a great hump day. I am your brother, T. Wilson. And you are listening to the Fastest Growing Podcast, What Up Doe Show. It was a crappy show today, but I will make up for it in the coming days. Uh, big up to my man, Latone Hart. He hosts a show called The 730 Show. You can catch it on uh, Spreaker.com, Stitcher.com, and iTunes. Big up to Dino Red of The Shiznit Show. Uh, you can catch him on Stitcher.com or TheShiznitShow.com. He also does a show called Hoopla. Hip it a Hoopla. And the Hoopla show comes on uh, uh, Stitcher.com. A uh, big up to my girl, Key. And Georgette, my girls Keish and Georgette uh, does a show called Relationship Handbook on Wednesday nights live uh, with your boy T Wilson. I'm on the show as well. Uh, we do that show every Wednesday night on um, Blog Talk Radio. A uh, great show, actually. Uh, also, big up to Enrique Black of the Five Minutes Away podcast, Murray Riley Jr. of the Sky Shout Radio podcast, Jerry Taylor of the You Name It podcast, uh, my girl Lavinia, Lavinia She Be Show Nuff of the Straight No Chaser podcast, also the Just Thinking Out Loud podcast with her cousin, Bajetto Rising. Uh, and I think I missed somebody. Did I miss somebody? I'm sorry if I did, but I got to go. Peace out, press your crease out, keep the police out while I bust his niece out, and I'm out of here. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. What up, though?